Grandpa met her. Once Grandpa had a dream. Come on. Oh, get up back over here. There was a grouchy oh. old farmer who was herding a bunch of baby birds with a big stick. Grandpa saw a little blue bird running away. I'm not going to chase after that rebellious little bird. So he reached down and took him up in his hand. And it stuck its head clear up like it was taking a good look at Grandpa. Then all of a sudden, Grandpa saw that it was you, all his precious little children. Then the little birdie snuggled down and didn't squawk anymore. And that was the end of the dream. Sometime later, Grandpa noticed a nest of baby birds just outside his window. Cool. Later that night, he mumbled in his sleep. All the little birdies have big mouths to drink in, just like David's special birdie. We pray for the birdies, Jesus. Help the mommy birdie to find the little wormies and the buggies for the babies. Just like you, Mama, feed the birdies of David with good things for their mouth. You always fill the mouth of the hungry and the thirsty with the words of David. Grandpa feeds the birdies when they're still babies because they don't know how to feed themselves. They know he'll feed them if they just open their mouths to take the food. Grandpa has a very special birdie who is always running around inside his shirt. She not only sleeps in his nest, but under his wing. Did you ever hear of a birdie with a notepad? Well, Grandpa's special birdie has a notepad. She writes all of his words with her wing. Grandpa said that his birdie knows what she wants. Some nice, fat, fresh word worms and batty new bugs, so she can feed them to all the little birdies in the nest. Do you know who the special birdie is? Mama Maria. Yes, even though it's kind of hard to send worms, bugs, and berries through the mail, I just press them and seal them and mail them kind of old when our birdies get them, they're so good for them. Yippee! New yummy word bugs from Grandpa and Mama. God bless them. Thank you, Jesus. Can I taste? Me too. Mmm. It's delicious. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. About a year later, when the birds had grown up, they would fuss and disturb Grandpa's sleep because they wanted him to feed them. They kept throwing him kisses, hoping that he'd feed them a few crumbs. But they shouldn't have been so lazy and left all the work up to him. Because outside, God's garden is full of food. Now that they had grown up, they needed to get out and dig for it themselves, like the other birdies do. Now you lazy birds need to go out and get your own food. Good birdies like you and me, when we grow up, we'll go out and find our own heavenly food. Straight from Jesus, in God's garden. There is wonderful food there. Nice big fat word worms, and tasty word bugs, and bright word berries, and delicious word fruit. Now that Grandpa has gone to live with Jesus up in heaven, it's bye-bye, Birdie. Love you, Grandpa. Oh, yes, we do. We love our Grandpa. Our love is true. When you're not near to us, we're blue. Oh, Grandpa, we love you. I love you, children. Oh, yes, I do. I love my children. My love is true. I'm still near to you. Don't be blue, oh children, I love you. I'm so happy to see all of you, my little birdies, growing up and learning to get food for yourselves straight from Jesus. Grandpa's special birdie has not stopped sending us special wordworms in the mail. Hi, Mama, it's me for your royal highness. Jesus asked Peter to stay with her and love her and help her to continue feeding us. And now they are busy all day long, digging out nice, fresh wordworms for all of us little birdies to eat. Mm, they're so yummy. And do you know what? Mama is still pecking seeds from Grandpa's tongue. He is very close to them in the spirit, and they peck the seeds straight out of heaven, and then she sends them to us. It makes her very happy when you come and chirp in your ear. 
because all you little children are her pet birdies and she loves you so much. Soon, when it gets dark and our work on Earth is over, we will all go home to Jesus and Grandpa forever. Then it will be no more bye-bye birdie, but it's hello heaven. Bye-bye, children. See you soon. Remember what I taught you about getting those nice, juicy worms. Bye, Grandpa!